Hi guys, welcome everyone. How is everyone? Hello, hello. Today is Monday the 29th, I think. <laughs> Hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I did myself, I have to say. It was very nice. <clears throat> so, ooh, it's getting chilly. It's chilly. It's a little chilly in here, actually. <laughs> hey, Cricket, how are you? Oh, ow. Ow, 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 ow. My finger's still weird. Ouch. Drinking some cider, uh, apple cider tea. Or apple tea. I don't know. I think it's apple cider tea. It's really good. But I don't like it hot. I like it. I only have like three three packets left or two. Super good. I know. I know. <laughs> I should not even complain. Cold. <laughs> I'm talking to the, what do they call Nebraskans? Nebraskans? <laughs> or is there a specific name? Hi, Gail. How are you? Guys, I have a lot of fashion jewelry, pretty stuff, dainty things. It's pretty much all new. If it's not new, I will tell you if it's not, or I'll just say it's new. Um, and they're very dainty and intricate, which I, I like. Um, I especially like to wear those types of things if I'm wearing, um, like with this top that I have, if I was wearing it with like a blazer, I would like something very simple right here, which I like to wear a lot. I know, me too, Gail. I ate horribly. It was disgusting what we ate. I think I was on a sugar overload, and I don't even like sweets, but I felt compelled to eat some of the things because my nephew made them. He made two pies. It was so much fun. Hi, Patty. How are you? Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen you forever. How are you? How are you? How was your Christmas? <laughs> Mine was nice. It's overwhelming, though. I mean, everything, even if you don't have a lot going on, but what you do have going on, and I had a lot of packages to get out prior to that than I had to get stuff done, it's all overwhelming. And then it's like I was talking to a friend, and it's like, and then it's over. <laughs> In a matter of a day. <laughs> but we kind of drag it out. We do celebrate separately Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Well, that's good, Patty. I'm glad. I think I think the streaming is good today because I think I'm getting your guys' um, messages and right away. And I don't know. I think I am. Yeah, so much food. I know. My sister really outdid herself. She really did. My brother-in-law was sick, so she did majority of the cooking, which is not her thing. And um, I didn't even cook. I didn't cook this time. Um, and I didn't even make my fudge. <laughs> I'm still going to make some because I need to give it to our neighbors who gave to us. It'll be for New Year's. Hi, Anna. How are you? Enjoy 2019. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I got a lot done. It was very productive for me, um, but I had a lot going on, too. But I enjoyed it. You know, nothing horrible happened or anything like that. Thank God. Um, sorry, my eyeball is, like, itchy. Ooh, it's so itchy. I remember when I would wear my contacts, which I can't even wear them anymore. I can't see with the contacts. So, But when I would scratch my eye like this, my contact would go whoop, whoop around my eye. And then I couldn't see for a little bit. But I'm so glad I don't wear contacts anymore. I just can't. I can't even wear my glasses unless I drive. Oh, 2020 just sounds so great. 2020. 
Oh, Lord have mercy. Even. That means excellent eyesight. So it has to be good, right? <laughs> I have um, some fashion jewelry. The majority of it is new. There's a lot of dainty and feminine items. Um, and then I'm going to do a couple of little lots. And I do have silver and some fine jewelry. I'm going to put that to this. Uh, let me put this over here for now. And I got my mandrel ready and my big magnifying glass. So I'm ready to go if you guys are. I know, I know. And I've been um, trying to get a jump start on the new year with my resolutions that I started organizing and cleaning already. I have been so behind on everything and I'm trying to catch up. I've started taking down Christmas decor. Except that, I mean, I didn't ever even really put up much this year. But that little sign says, I think, season's greetings. And it has like a, a deer in the snow. So I'm, I'm good with it. But I have so much going on tomorrow and New Year's Day. Um, stuff to get done that I thought I better come on tonight. Yes, I hope you all had a good 2019 Sometimes things don't go as planned or don't go as well or we get sick. But if you look at the overall year, you know, I know the negative stands out greatly. But overall, we still are living and breathing. We are still, we still have, you know, um, hopefully we still have the, the members in our family that we love dearly. And for those who lost them, I mean, I, I'm so sorry for those people. But um you know, they, uh, I, I can only imagine what they're going through because I know what I went through. And anyways, um, I just pray for them, you know. And I want to say, I want to say a prayer. Well, we don't have to do it together on here, but I've been praying for Kim Webster. As you all know, she is an ICU and um, I am very sad when I heard and uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I know some details, but not a whole lot, very little, but I don't know what everyone else knows and I don't want to say it. So I'm just um, going to keep quiet, but I, I, I just will hope that you all will keep Kim Webster in her, in your prayers and, um, you know, she was a very nice lady, and uh, I just, you know, I really pray and pray for her family, too. That's one. Oh, I'm so glad, Gail. That's wonderful. Yes. It's been weighing on me so heavily since I found out yesterday, and I'm just so sad because she is such a sweet lady. You know, and she's so kind to everybody. Um, so please keep her in your prayers and her daughter and um, the, the all of the family in regards to both of them. So anyways, um, Kim, uh, if you ever watch this video, we are just thinking of you and you're in our hearts and our prayers for sure. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to dedicate this video to Kim. <laughs> um, that's wonderful that Lydia did that. That's really great. Um, so guys, let's get started. I am cold today. It was beautiful here today. Really sunny. It, it got to be about 62 degrees, which was really great. Um, and I enjoyed it <laughs> after some rain, you know, you always enjoy a little bit of sunshine. So anyways, but um, let's get started. I have this beautiful little necklace. Uh, I can't remember what they call these little beads, but they're like diamond cut. And it's really pretty and dainty. And it has its, um, let me see. Yeah. It's stainless, which is nice. And it is by, 
hold on, I forgot to look. It does have the little hanger tag, but it's very feminine and dainty. Oh, okay, New York and Company. Wait, is that right? Oh, no, 1928. No wonder I liked it. I do like 1928 a lot. Um, I remember selling it when I worked at Macy's. So here it is. And it's beautiful. It's very feminine. They do such a great job with their uh, jewelry, too. Hi, Donna. How are you? You had a hailstorm. Oh, my goodness. Those always, those are, they kind of freak me out a little bit. <laughs> um, I guess this could be about a 20-inch. Let's see. Fully extended. Let's say, no, maybe an 18. But it's beautiful. This is 1928. Very feminine. I'm good, Donna. I think I enjoyed the holiday a little too much. I was eating terribly. I felt sick, actually, for a couple days, really. Because, you know, eating all those specialty foods and... Ugh. So this one's going to be $5 if anyone's interested. There's glass on there. It's stainless steel. Has a little silver tone in there, too. And it's really pretty. Okay, thank you, Gail. Hi, Pam. Pam, you must have had nice weather today because I had nice weather today. Hi, Adam. How are you? <laughs> I said that word. How are you? <laughs> okay, thank you, Gail. So, Gail, I'm going to call it the silver... 1928 necklace. Thank you so much. I gotta move this because it's kind of in my way. I guess I'm literally the mandal right now. Oh, it was really. It was like 62 to 62 here. It was slightly windy, but that's because I'm right by all the water. <clears throat> No. Yes, we have heard Adam, and we just kind of, I dedicated this um, video to, or live to Kim. Uh, haven't heard anything. I was hoping her daughter would get back to me, but she did get back to Barbie, but there was no specifics. Um, and I, all I can say is please pray for her and her daughter. Oh, that really, really upset me. It's still upsetting to me. But, um, yes, definitely prayers and good thoughts. If you don't believe in praying, good thoughts, good vibes. Um, I know. I know. Uh, um, let's see. Gail said, your dog was so scared. I know. Um Hale scares my dad's dog really bad. Um, and she's this big Rhodesian dog, Ridgeback. And when she gets scared, boy, she is something else. She won't go outside or anything. Thank you, Pam. Yes, for sure. Positive thoughts, prayer, and um, good vibes, all of that. Oh, poor puppy. I know, that's how my dad's dog is. She's pulled a whole sofa over before. It's that and um, fireworks that really scare her. Fireworks and thunder. Hey, Susan, how are you? Long time no see. How are you? Um, okay, so I have some beautiful little items, like I said. So let me just keep on showing. I think I tangled this. So. Oh, I did. Okay. So I have this beautiful... 
a uh, little necklace. It is by, it is by uh, White House Black Market, which I like a lot. They have nice, they do have nice things. They have classic pieces and that's what I really like. Oh, let me put this over here for Gail. Okay. This is, it's just so feminine too, beautiful. Very nice, it looks brand new. I believe it is brand new. Doesn't look, there's no wear on it. Um, so it's got faux pearl and some, this big glass uh, bead here. Some faceted uh, mirrored beads. Hi Lynn. Hopefully you guys can see. Let me turn my camera a little bit. Isn't that pretty? This one's gonna be $6. It's an excellent shape. And hopefully, hopefully you guys can see it. The intricacies of the flowers. Isn't that beautiful? It's really pretty. Okay, thank you, Susan. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. And I always say, if you didn't get what you want for Christmas, you can <laughs> get it afterwards. Which I didn't do, but I did buy myself a gift or two. Very inexpensive, though, I did. <laughs> I'm just going to call it White House Black Market Necklace. Because I think that's the only one of this brand that I have tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, thank you, Adam. <laughs> that's nice. Watch time is good. <laughs> um... Let's see, Lynn, how are you? Oh gosh, so glad you all are here today. It's gonna be New Year's Eve tomorrow, but I have a lot going on tomorrow, so hopefully I get it all done. And it's not like just organizing, that comes later in the evening. I have um, stuff I have to get done, like real stuff. Okay, now this is, um, I'm gonna show a couple of purple items here. I have I don't I don't know how I got so many purple items, but I do. One, two, three, four. I would say this little beauty. It almost looks like a 1928 uh, bracelet or Liz Claiborne. Um, it's glass and it's got the faceted like uh, oh what color is that? It's like a lavender and purple beads. They're like an amethyst color and root beer, or maybe they're all root beer color. Oh, they are root beer color. And then this is more of a lavender. Okay, I was just looking at it. Now this looks brand spanking new. And I believe, yeah, stainless steel, but in that oil bronze um, color, it's a th four strand bracelet. And I'll put it like this so you can see a little better. And it has the stainless steel toggle clasp. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you could see the lavender. I think it's a pretty color combination. And then here's the toggle clasp. Isn't that pretty? This one's going to be five, and this is brand new. This is like the perfect toggle clasp. Big enough to where you can feed it through and not fight with it, but not too big where you can't get it through the loop. So... Very nice. Five on that one. <gasps> you got monetized, Pam. Oh my God, that's wonderful. Awesome. Congratulations. How long? Okay, let me measure. Oh, uh, what did I do with my, <laughs> my ruler? Because I remember I couldn't find it last time. Let me see, folks. 
I'll have to get my. Um, okay, let me go get my measuring tape instead because I don't know what I did with my ruler. Hold on. Yeah. You know. It is eight inches, Gail. Eight inches. Oh, why are these pop ups coming up? Did I miss something? Hold on. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Oh, I went too far down. Hold on. Okay. Hi, Selena. Wait, I can't. I got to go back. <laughs> Good night, Adam. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. I see how long. And then, okay, it's eight inches. Hi, Gail. Not feeling too good, Phil. Last night. <gasps> oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. Susan, that's horrible. Oh. Okay, so Susan wants it. Susan, I'm so sorry. I fell too on my doggy gate and I went face first and face planted into my mirrored side table. And I mean, I still have a scar right there. These, these, it's kind of like a little scar here and here. And um, this is finally healed. And actually this one finally healed. So I, I think I'm good, but my nose feels swollen still. We've got to be careful. Oh, my God, Susan. Did you make sure you didn't have a concussion? Good Lord. I'm klutzy. I'm very klutzy. I'm going to call it, what should we call it? Four-strand stainless steel. <sighs> I could spell. Um, we'll just call it lavender glass. How's that? I'm so sorry, Susan. That's terrible. God, I hope you didn't get, I mean, cut. Did you cut yourself bad? I got, I actually did not get cut. Just scrapes, which was amazing. I know how awful. Uh, I'm to brown Susan only gowns. Okay, good. To make sure you had didn't have a concussion. God, that's scary. Why does it say this is held for review? Another moderator just handled it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Only forehead and fingers. Ooh, ouch. I know. Oh, my goodness, Susan. It's kind of scary, but at least you have people there. I was by myself. I was kind of scared, actually. Thank you, Pam. I get scared because every time I fall, it seems like I'm by myself. It's scary. Oh, sorry that happened to you. Um, okay, this one is a beautiful, this is very intricate and feminine, this one I'm about to show. This one's more of a, um, yeah, this one's purple, but to me, when the light isn't shining on it, it looks more like garnet color. And it is a two strand. Now, it does have some rose quartz on it, and the... 
the beads are like a pearlized above the rose quartz and below it. And then it comes to these amethyst looking beads here. I'm not sure if these are, yeah, I guess they are glass. It's very nice with a beautiful toggle. Let me show you the toggle. I don't know if this was made, but it looks brand new. Oh, I think I tangled it. I did. Hold on. Let me untangle it. There we go. Did I do it? Yeah. Oh, I tangled it again. Okay, well, I'll open it later, untangle it. But do you see what I mean? So the toggle, here's the toggle. It has like little rhinestones. Are they rhinestones? No, it's just embossed. <laughs> it's embossed metal, but it looks like rhinestones. And then it goes into these pearlized purple beads. They're very dark. And then these are rose quartz, more of those beads. Then into these purple amethyst colored glass beads. Isn't that pretty? We're going to do $4 on this one if anyone's interested. $4. And it does have the rose quartz, so four rose quartz. It's pretty interesting. Do I have it tangled? Hold on, let me untangle it real quick. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, thank you, Susan. Let's see, I'm going to call this um, two strand rose quartz purple bead glass bead bracelet. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me skip off from purple real quick and go into some other colors. I have um, ooh, wait, let me show you guys this. This is really cute. Wait, let me show this first. Now these are brand new and they are gorgeous, but I just tangled them. Oh, it's a gunmetal gray with glass beads that are faceted and they're kind of, they have like the Arroyo Borealis um, sheen to them. They are long dangles. So if dangles are not your thing, but they are stunning. I'm gonna put it on, oh, oh, I think I just tangled it again. Hold on. I knew I should have taken it out before. <laughs> These are beautiful. Oh, she's really are beautiful. Okay, let me put them on here. I think, okay. Good. Ooh, these are beautiful. Look at these. And they're new. Hi, Francis. Aren't these beautiful? So they're gunmetal gray, and then they have the long strands, and these are glass faceted beads. These are gonna be $4. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna show you up to my... Mm, look how pretty. They're kind of peacockish, you know? Shape of a feather with the, that coloring. Thank you. There, thank you. Okay, thank you, um, <coughs> Susan. Thank you so much. These are kind of purple, yeah, huh? They're like a 
turquoise and a purplish color. Very pretty. Oh. One sec, guys. Sorry. I, I don't. Oh. I was trying not to get them tangled when I put them away. I like to hang the little hook outside the thingy. Nope. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to call those, uh, let's see, what should I call them? Teardrop glass bead gun metal gray dangles. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm surprised you like them, Susan. Those were long. I didn't think you liked long necklaces. <laughs> I mean, earrings, excuse me. <laughs> okay. I wish Becky was here because I think I have a um, necklace she might like. All right. Let's go into... Oh, let's show this. This is gorgeous. Now, this has um, an extender. It's by... It's by Claire's, but I'll tell you what, it's very pretty. I was pretty impressed with this one. And this one's new. Now it can be, there's a four inch extender and it has that cop, like a matte copper look or chain. And it's not tarnished. You know how some silver tone will tarnish that copper look? This is actually that copper look because on the back it's all like that. But it matches with the red. Um, uh, the, some of the middle stones have that cut to where you can see red in it. It's beautiful. And I don't know if you can see, but here's, let's see. There's a chain. I'll show you against my skin. And you probably can't see the red in the little... Um, rhinestones, but that's the drop down extender. And it's very dainty and feminine. Here's the back, so you can see it's all that coppery color. It's not, it's meant to be that copper color, it's not tarnished. And can you guys see the red now? In, see on the uh, middle stones, you it's kind of hard to tell with this light next to me, but it is beautiful. It's very unique. And this one is going to be $6. No, let's do $5. It's very dainty and feminine. And it's new. Can you guys see that red I'm talking about? It goes with the copper so beautifully. But it's casual enough with this that you can wear it with a lot of things. The chain, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, thank you, you love my ring? I got that from Roberta. <laughs> I love it, it's my new, Favorite ring right now. You know how when you get new ones, you just love them so much? But there's ones I always go back to. Always. That I wear on a regular basis. Okay, so that one's $5. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Okay. Now here's a gorgeous necklace. This is black. Now this one, um, this is an unusual necklace. Thank you. It's super big, but I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I mean, that's not a big ring. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, looks like a button on my hand. But I mean, or, you know, push button. I just love it. It's some form of agate. I keep forgetting to ask my dad what type of agate. 
Okay, this one is, I think, from New York and Company. Wait, let me double check. No, okay, it's not. It's not marked at all. But <laughs> it's glass beads, and these are... Um, I thought that these were stones. I'm still not sure about these. They could be stone, but they're probably... I thought that these were stones. I'm still not sure about these. They could be stone, but they're probably glass. I don't know. They kind of look like the stone I'm thinking of. But we're just going to call it glass. But it's got a lot of glass beads. And actually, the glass beads are faceted. And then there are stone beads on here. Quite a few stone beads. So the clear ones are stone beads and the darker ones, and the black ones are glass. So let me just show you. Oh, I keep getting these darn pop-ups. Okay. It's long. I'll measure it in a second. But this is great for a work attire, too, or casual jeans and a white T-shirt. Oh, it's so pretty. And I think, yeah, so it's, uh, silver tone and then glass and stone. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that spider webbing. I kind of think this is a stone. But I didn't ask my dad and I forgot to. But see how they're imperfect still? Now these I know are stones. These are glass, and that's just a little doodad, and that's a stone. So you've got a lot of these stones on here. So that's why I think these are stones. Look at this. And they're heavy, so it's heavier than glass. So I kind of think that it is. Anyways, this one's going to be $8 if anyone's interested. And um, I'm going to guess it's about 30 inches, but I'll measure it. It's got creams, blacks, grays, some stone, pos and glass. So let me measure it real quick. <laughs> this is what I have to measure today. Ooh, let's see, let's straighten it out. It says it's just past. I think my ring is kind of distracting. Let me take it off. Hold on. Oh, am I buffering? Am I buffering you guys? Let me know. Hmm, if I'm buffering, let's see. Okay, okay. Good. So stones and some glass. I believe these are glass. They sound it too. I just don't know the name. And these are definitely stones. The black ones are glass. Hmm. Oh, really? Thank you, Susan. 
Okay, if I'm pixelated, how long has it been pixelating? If you guys can tell me. Because if, if it's easier, I go to my other channel, then I'll do that. Okay, thank you, Susan. Oh, what did I just drop? Okay, what's it called? Dragon Vein Agate? Oh, that sounds so cool, too. Not long? Okay. Okay, if it continues, let me know, and then I'll go to my... I'll stop this, and I'll go to my other channel. Okay, guys? Because I hate for it to go that long. Okay, let's see. Dragon, because I can't be on too long tonight either. Dragon vein, we'll just call it dragon vein agate, hopefully. <laughs> um, 17 and a half inch necklace each. Thank you so much. Only just a bit, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Nobody, wait, is anyone home? Nobody's home. And it's still early in the evening, so I'm hoping we're good. Um, thank you, Susan. Now I'm going to switch gears to these pretties right here real quick. Um, this is like a rose gold in fashion jewelry. Now it's stainless steel on both pieces. I'd like to sell them together because they match so nicely. And I think that they would be a beautiful um, um, match with each other. Uh, this is by Charter Club. It's a watch and it has some um, rhinestones in it. They actually, actually, these aren't rhinestones. These are Austrian crystals. Um, and it's brand new, you guys. I mean, I don't see, let's see, is there anywhere on here? There's a tiny like smudge on one of the link, but okay. So maybe not completely new, but it's in very excellent condition. Charger Club is Macy's, that's their brand. And um, anytime I'd gotten their items, it's been excellent. So the actual bracelets are stainless steel with the Austrian crystals. It's a watch. I'll put a battery in it because this one's really easy to put in too. But look at these pieces and they're in rose gold. And you can take out the links if they don't fit you. Okay, you can't see the color, but let me do this. It's a beautiful rose gold. So there's the kind of like a tennis bracelet with the inset Austrian crystals and you wear it with the watch. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's the Austrian crystals all in the links. There's two and a half links on each side and the face is like a pearlized white and the numbers and hands are in that rose gold. We're going to say for the two of these, $20. I will put a new battery in it. I hope you could see the color. Isn't that beautiful? So you can take the links out. How big is the watch face? Let me see. It's kind of a bigger watch face. And I'll measure each, um, I feel silly with this thing, but it's all I have right now. Let's see, the diameter is, or radius, I mean, diameter, sorry, is one and, from edge to edge, one and one quarter. And how, okay, one and one quarter, and then in length right now, but you can take a link out or two if you want. Right now, the length of each, I'll measure each. It's so pretty. I actually really like this set. It probably came in a box set together. Because they do match exactly. Yeah, they're the same length. So let's see. Ouch. Let's 
about seven. Almost seven and a half in length or both of them, but you can take some links out. You can take out as many as you want, really. Um, can you take links out of the bracelet too? Let's see. Yes. As you can see, it's got the little push. Hold on, let me double check. Hold on. I'm just going to push on it and make sure. It appears, oh, here we go. These come out. Okay, some. Yeah, because they have arrows on them, so I guess you can. But you can see that the holes on the side, so you just get like a sharp, um, I'll show you what I mean. And if you end up not being able to, then just let me know. And see the arrows underneath? That tells you where. So I'm going to put it on. I think these are beautiful, actually. This set's nice. Star and pop up. It's driving me nuts. There we go. I don't know if I can if you guys can see it. Really feminine, pretty. So this set is 20, and I'll put a new battery in it. It's got Austrian crystals, I think that's beautiful. Stainless steel. Okay. I had a bag for it, where to go? Here we go. Okay. Oh, now it's really cold. <clears throat> then I have this adorable, um, at first I thought it was a Pegasus, but it looks like it's, um, am I pixelating or something? Okay. This is um, stainless steel uh, pendant on a silver tone chain. And it's so sweet because it's a, I, at first, like I said, it looked like a Pegasus to me, but it's not. This is new. Look how cute. Pretty horse. It's nicely made. So this is stainless, the horse, and then the chain, which is a nice chain, is um, silver tone, but it's new. And this one's going to be four dollars. Isn't that cute? That'd be cute to give to like a niece, granddaughter, daughter for Valentine's Day, I think. Super cute. Okay, $4 on that one. Up here. 
Okay, this one. Now, this, yes, it was stainless, Pam, with a rose gold color. And the back, uh, I believe it's Jap a Japanese movement. Hold on, let me double check. I'm pretty sure. I swear no one wore this watch. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Gosh, I can't see anything. Okay, it says stainless steel back. Charter Club gives the... Okay, thank you. Double check. Yep. The only part that's silver tone is in between. Thank you so much. Here. Pam. Um, oops. Rose. Gold. Stainless steel. Austrian. Crystal. Bracelet. Watch. Charter Club. And that's 20. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know you must be out of everything now, huh? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, this is all um, purple seed bead. You know how, God, this is so, I thought about keeping this actually, but I can't, I shouldn't keep anything at this time because I am oh, trying to be good, but I kept some things. Um, it's got matching earrings. It's it's beautiful. It's very gosh. It's so super thick. Um, seed bead. Uh oh. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now it looks kind of bluish here, but it's really a true purple. I'll get close. Uh, that doesn't. So let me see if I can see the color a little better. Nope. It's a very purple, very pretty purple, I should say. And look, it's brand new. Maybe if I hold it against my skin, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so back you can kind of see it a little better. It's so pretty, you guys. It's so would I. It's like a grape purple. You know that purple color from grapes? <laughs> I just don't have patience for doing this. I, I don't know how people do it. I mean, it's pretty amazing, this tiny, intricate beadwork. Anyways, this set, look how thick, well made with the earrings. It's going to be 15 if anyone's interested. Am I buffering again? Uh-oh. <laughs> Pam. <laughs> I am I am trying. I did a lot of organizing today and cleaning. Hopefully you guys can... Well, let me know if I'm buffering still. If I keep buff, type it in here. 
Okay, I'm heading over to my other channel, Creative Glory. There we go. Okay, see you soon. Darn thing, so irritating. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Makes it so mad.